a present, and this was the first polyamorous relationship she had ever been in, and I got her three stuffed animals, one male stuffed animal, and two females to represent her and I, to represent the three of us, and I sewed us all together. And I repositioned the heart, and I took the heart that, you know, and I threw one, like, two of them away, and I put the one in the middle so that there was only the one heart, and we were all three holding it, and we gave her that as a Valentine's present. And so if you get creative and you kind of think outside the box, you can pretty much alter anything to fit your needs. It's just planning and time Mm -hmm. which a lot of times we don't have that yeah polyamory as an ideal is just not reached the point of societal saturation yeah where where we're at the point where you can last minute anything right you can't just don't expect to jump to the cvs and get the thing so you're saying that you know night before your anniversary when you try to buy an anniversary card well yeah i don't plan it just uh-huh but yeah. he's not a procrastinator at no. all and look if it wasn't for procrastination i want to get anything done hmm yeah <laughs> if it wasn't for the last minute a lot of stuff just wouldn't happen right uh, you know but then there's the whole matter of getting everybody in the family to actually sign said things <laughs> which can be an act in and of itself being that not everybody is always home at the same time like herding chickens um uh, yeah so you know There's that. It's one of those things. Mm -hmm. Uh, You're going to have to plan ahead because we're just not at the point where we're going to get things conveniently. Mm -hmm. And we're just not. I mean, it's going to take time to ship. It's going to take time to do. Even if you plan ahead and ask your local artisan for a thing... You might need to give them some time. You know, there's there's shipping time and there's, like, to check it to make sure it is what you want and send it back if it's right. not we just ordered uh one of our our youngest son's sword he turned 18 and we did a sword ceremony for him and it, uh, kind of a coming of age event we ordered it and i thought oh ha ha we finally did this ahead of time and it arrived and no just no it was i i had misunderstood what the words factory edge meant it was not okay i was i was disheartened it took all the wind out of my sails yeah it really did it flattened me. Yep, so we ended up having to ship it back and get it actual sharpened and then have it shipped back. And it arrived in time. Yes, Not much so, time, but it arrived in time. So so shout out to Atlanta Cutlery for timeliness. Mm-hmm. And There was a quick turnaround in that. Absolutely. They did a fantastic job. But if it hadn't been for that, we would have had to... Scramble to find something usable. Do something. I, I don't know or what postpone we... postpone yeah, it. Or... Postpone it or any of those things. And that it adds to the stress of your life. And anything that you can... Any way you can take away from the stress by thinking ahead is always a better plan. Yeah, because don't expect you... You know, you, say, you know, you go to an artist and it's like, Hey, I need this. Can I have it tomorrow? No. No. The answer is no. Okay, because time... It takes Resources, time. materials... Mm-hmm. Right. To if, actually draw up what you're looking for or and, want. And then, you know, talk about the design, get approved, all this other right. stuff. It takes time. They could it, have three commissions in the works right. when you contact them the night before your thing. <laughs> the world does not revolve around you. Uh, Sorry. I used, I used to say that when, uh, when I was in mattresses, when I was selling mattresses. That was a thing because we had like a, it was a five to eight day delivery time. Oh, wow. It's five to eight days. And kept telling people, no, and it could there could be problems mm-hmm. with the delivery. Can't fit it through the door. Can't fit it up up your stairwell. Whatever you know, a king bed will never fit through this. This mattress is three feet thick, and it's the size of a king, and it's not getting up your staircase. Mm-hmm. You know, and so I'd always tell people, you okay, this is great. Your your choice is made, and we're gonna try this uh, on this day. But please do not plan any weddings, funerals, other mournful events around the arrival of this mattress because it could get there and they could decide this isn't going to work. So when you, whenever you're doing anything, remember it's a special order and you've got to build that into your schedule. So if you're not the planning person, please become one. Um. <laughs> or do what we've done yeah. in the crunch times and find something that kind of fits and alter it to your needs. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. The world is what you make of it. And since the world right now 
isn't going to be that accommodating of us. You've got to go the extra mile and make it that way. You've got to, if it, if the world doesn't fit, you make alterations. And I find it kind of endearing when I look at the cards that have been altered for me and the words are replaced. It's like they mindfully went in and altered these to fit our uh, family dynamic. And so that means something. And then there's little doodles and drawings and glitter and, you know, things all over it to make it even more special. Oh, so no. Glitter is not special. Oh, yes, it glitter is. Glitter is very special. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Crow still has some in his hair from his birthday last weekend. That's because I yeah. am not a wuss. When uh, when Jay glitter bombs the the cards, I open that card boldly and I dump it straight over he my totally head. He totally does. The and way I it's love meant, it. the way it's meant to be had. Yep. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. No. Yep. No. I am not gonna dump it somewhere out in the outside or in the garbage. In the garbage. That's ah. Oh, oh. Sacrilege. It hurts. It hurts us. It's like a stabbing right through the heart. Well, I'm glad I don't have Zan. one. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, I fully enjoy the experience because getting a card for somebody, uh, getting a picture frame for somebody, getting uh, decorating for someone's birthday or special event or special occasion, it's supposed to be a time when the family's coming together. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a time when you're celebrating that person that person's presence in your lives, all of the things. So just give yourself over to the idea of it. Give yourself to the process. And it doesn't matter if it's hokey or if you had to scratch out a word and put another, write another one in. It doesn't matter if all you could find was that uh, super floral card on the outside with, so that you could find something that was blank on the inside so you could write your own stuff. Yep. None of it matters what really matters is your participation. Have everybody make their own. Draw something, color a page, and sign it, like out of a coloring book or any anything like that. Like, and honestly, if, you know, I would like to call upon our listeners too. If you have ideas of things that you've done, send it our way. Post it on our Facebook. Send us we pictures. Would we would love it. Tweet oh, yeah. it to us because, yeah. like, we would love to share what your ideas were mm -hmm. to uh, to accommodate your polycule. It, Especially during the holidays, like when oh, you're yes. sending stuff to family and, you know, like brainstorming with the family is one of my favorite things to do. I'm sure they're going to come up with a million of wonderful ideas and they make the experience fun. So I bet you guys have super awesome ideas, too. I would love to see and hear them. Like Speaking of Etsy and speaking of gifts and stuff like that, I want to give a shout out to our creators of our poly saturated shirts and decals um mm -hmm. on etsy uh we had a uh, partnered with a company called uh restricted wares and they with do a z. with a z yeah restricted uh w-e-a-r-z they gave us matching t-shirts yes they Yay. got us t-shirts and then they also do like all kinds of poly and lgbt and bdsm and just sarcastically wrong and awesome things yes yeah. But they also do custom stuff. So I've seen some stuff where they, they change things up for polycules or for DS relationships and all kinds of other stuff. So they do custom designs and, you know, if you want to add something to a polycule shirt or something, they'll totally do that for you. Oh, yeah. And so I've seen some of their work. Like I said, they're doing our shirts for polysaturated. So uh, you can, I think their website, you can go to shoprw.restrictedwearz.com and it'll take you to their... Some pretty amazing stuff. Some pretty hilarious stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. Like, yeah. You've heard of the family expression, uh, you know, dance like nobody's watching. Uh -huh. Yeah, they, they, they had this one that was, it was a, a sign is dance like you're paying for college. Oh it yeah, was yeah awesome. with a stripper on a pole and yeah. it was all in glitter. <laughs> it was awesome. So if you have a dark sense of humor, if you like <laughs> Or not even and you're just looking for something for your polycule. Or if you want them to make something for your polycule. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah they're very flexible. They... Yeah. That's what she said. Mm. <laughs> that, is, very... that is what they said. That is what they said. You that have to be if you're dancing say. like you're paying for college. <laughs> <laughs> well we we Actually, our first girlfriend was a, uh, yeah, a dancer. Yeah, our first girlfriend. And she was, a, she was flexible. She, bendy. <laughs> she was bendy. She was bendy. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
She didn't pay for college, though. Well, no, she uh, didn't. She no. uh, she paid cash for her first house, though. Boom. I also wanted to say, Aaron, no, we, we're okay with the lamp situation. I was just giving you a hard time. And as always, you can reach us at poly underscore saturated on Twitter. You can hit us on our website at poly-saturated.com. Find us on Facebook at polysaturated. And you can find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash polysaturated. And we have different tiers and stuff like that. And just last week, you know, we had uh, we gave early access to our second part of our episode. Um, so we're going to be doing more stuff like that. And uh, I have a feeling with this episode, we're going to have a lot of bonus material, too, that we're going to be cutting out of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> that we'll probably put on... Uh, that one of the tiers for polysaturated. Uh, well, that's about all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us yet again on another adventure in poly stuff. We love that you listen to us. We love that you join us. Keeping it polyamorous is keeping, keeping it, it poly real. real. Bye. Bye. Later. Toodles.